Okay, so we look at the Plague Tale Innocence at 21 by 9. No game in the last few years has touched an emotional nerve connection like this has for me. It really is enthralling. The French setting is a sadly rare one, and especially of medieval times, it is a perfect setting for the characters and world to be placed in for the twist on the bubonic plague to be unleashed. A supernatural force bringing a wholly unique take on creating a constant feeling of threat and misery with the rat infestation. Really, I could talk for ages about this game, but really there's no need. It's been talked about a ton already as it's a brilliantly reviewed game across the board. And absolutely, I would recommend avoiding too much chat about the game before you actually play it as it's so worth experiencing it yourself before you get anything spoiled. So as usual, let's cover the ultra wide support. Sadly, the one let down with this title is the lack of any ultra wide support. Natively, everything is just 16x9 with black bars. However, don't despair because a fantastically easy fix is at your fingertips. A quick hex edit, something we've come across many times, will get this running full screen for you in no time. So just navigate to the game's download location, it'll be stored somewhere within Steam apps, common and under the game's title. In that first folder, you'll see the game's exe file. Open this in a hex editing software like HXD, I'll link to that in the description, and also full steps for all of this will be there too, in case that's easier. Now hit Ctrl R, and search for the following hex string. You want to replace this with the correct hex string for your resolution. So 34 40 by 1440 will be different to 2560 by 1080. For the correct hex string for you, check in the description. There should be two strings to replace, so you can find them one by one, or just do what I did and replace all, and boom, that's it. You can save the file and close it down and load up the game. Lovely and easy. Such a shame there isn't native support. I wouldn't be shocked if native support comes at some point soon, because it really is an easy fix. Now the game is running at 21 by 9 you'll see the gameplay correctly shows off more on the sides of the screen with pretty much no FOV stretching. It really looks lovely. The HUD scales amazingly to the sides as well. The main menu and in-game menus will scale to show off more on the sides of the screen, and even cutscenes do the same. The only glitchy moments are loading screens and other title cards where you get to see weird views on the sides of the 16x9 piece, but this is hardly a serious issue. All in all, it's a pretty perfect experience. General PC support wise, there is full controller on mouse and keyboard support with full rebinding support for all inputs. There is audio support for surround sound, and overall, there are enough general PC options to deem it good. As for performance, well, this is where some impressive work has gone in. As you will know about this game from any footage you've seen, there are lots of rats running on screen in many moments, and yet somehow the game manages to cope with all of this without skipping a beat. On a GTX 1080 Ti at 3440x1440 on ultra everything settings with an i7-7700K, this game never dropped below 60fps except for the opening boar hunting scene. It remains close to 60 most of the time, but I never noticed it drop below. And that is impressive with the gorgeous scenes you're exploring throughout the game and the insane numbers of rats pouring throughout many levels. Really fantastic work here devs, always love to see solid optimization. There are also a solid number of graphics settings to tweak, so you can achieve the performance level you wish. I can say though I've found that some settings like anti-aliasing have far less effect on performance than I would like, pretty much negligible. Lighting seems to be a better choice to improve performance. And also there is no way to fully turn off depth of field, which is always frustrating. So gameplay, this is a survival tale. You play as a young woman who must look after her much younger brother as you make your way through France to safety and answers. You have to survive onslaughts of rats and bloodthirsty inquisition members looking for your brother who holds a secret, and it really is brilliantly designed and acted. The controls are smooth, animations equally so, and the voice acting is absolutely bang on, with special note to Amicia who is one of the most convincing characters I've ever experienced in a game. It is a little repetitive, and you do feel like you're just completing the steps one after another. There is no skill or real player control. It is first and foremost a story experience that you simply get the privilege of being present to watch unfold. Whilst I was controlling Amicia, I never actually felt like I was her. I think because it's so perfectly voice acted and the bond with her and her little brother and their interactions with other characters in the world all meant that I felt like I was never supposed to be her. And that's in a great way. Most games aim for that to be the case, but I'm glad that wasn't true here. It made her feel far more real and a part of the world rather than pushing to make me feel like I was there. I felt fear for her surviving, not fear for myself, and for whatever reason, that made this far more intense. 
All in all, buy this game. The devs deserve the support and you'll have a wonderful experience playing it through. I'm going to give it a WAF score of 4 because once you've jumped through the hex edit hoop, it works near perfectly on an ultra wide screen. I hope that gives you some information that game runs 21 by 9 Give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe for future info. For another games at 21 by 9 head over to my channel at the WAF website. Hopefully I've covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. And if you'd like to support the channel, links to my Patreon page are in the description. Amazon affiliate links there too. See you later. We'll be safe if we go that way. Don't fall. Don't fall. We won't fall. Hold my hand tight. That torch. There's a hole in the grating. I'll lift this up. Can you get the torch? Yes. Uh, it's heavy. Hugo, hurry up. Come on. Mm. Oh, no! Are you alright? Yes. Stay where you are. The ground is rotten. Misha, how... how am I going to get back? We'll find a way. Don't worry. As long as you have the torch, you'll be safe. But what about you? We'll... Uh, move together. That way, the light coming through the grating will protect me too. Ready? Ready. Here we go then. Slowly. Very good. Look, there's a hole. Do you want the torch? Yes, there are too many rats on my side. But where can I get through? The hole behind you. That's the only way I can see. Go through there and I'll meet you on the other side. Are you sure? Just stop if you see rats. I'll be with you very quickly. All right, but please hurry. Now. Hugo! What's going on? Hugo! Talk to me! Come on! Come on! Amicia! Up here! Hugo! Are you alright? There were rats! I ran to the light! Did they bite you? Open a way through for you. We're going to get you down from there. Calm down, Alicia. He's fine. You're fine. Stay focused. Hugo, I have to get him down here. These twigs burn too quickly. I won't be able to keep them back long enough. Wait, I have something for you. Perfect! Thank you!